Today, we're trying something completely new, something I haven't done before. I asked Twitter to build me a deck. I told Twitter, hey, here are four cards, 12 cards in total, three Cosmic Younglings, three Guiding Touch, three Resplendent Stellacorn, three Star Shapings. And I said, here's the code, complete deck for me. And after, you know, a couple of hours, I got a bunch of replies. And in this video, I'm just going to take about five codes here and I'm going to play those decks. And the only thing I will know about that deck is that these 12 cards are in it. I don't know anything else. So together, we're going to get into a game and we're just going to see what cards we actually draw and how well the deck is going to do. So I want to start by just finding the first deck and I actually took track of this. This reply right here, Grizzly Jam from Jimsley. This was the very first reply to the Twitter post. So that will be the first one we're going to play. I'm not going to look at what's in it. Actually, you know, we know about those 12 cards and we know about one champion that's on the cover. That's what we're doing. Most of them should be standard. So we're, we're gonna get into standard. I'm gonna do my cosmetics and then we'll jump into the gameplay. So if you wanna, you know, participate in some of these challenges, I'm gonna post stuff like this more often. I don't know how often, uh, but just make sure to follow me on Twitter so you can know exactly when I make these type of posts and who knows, maybe I'll pick your deck next. So, this first deck is with Shirima. We have Akshan, Aurelian Soul and Melfi. Now, I have no idea about the like how many of each champion are in here. We're going to find after and we know about the other 12 cards. So, I, I don't know if we're getting trolled. I don't know if this is actually a good deck. I'm just going to find out by drawing cards. That's the only thing we're going to do here. I <laughs> I hope you guys like this kind of concept because it is a bit chaotic. I'm also not doing any heavy editing on this one. All my editing work kind of went into that uh, the Udyr video over a few days ago. Uh, there's Chip. Well, here we go, Chip. Um, so... You know, I'm, I'm just winging it, really. I'm just I'm just sitting here. I'm recording some gameplay. I'm just having a good time with Runeterra in this video. That's really that's all I'm trying to do. So we'll, we'll see how it goes against some of the opponents. I'm planning on only playing one game of each deck, even if I get absolutely smashed. But if it's like a really lame match and I really didn't get to do anything with the deck, then maybe I'll play another. And that that version might not make it into the video because I still want to provide, you know, the best content possible. But, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes, right? So far, a bit of a brick. And I was expecting this, which is exactly why I picked so many, well, healing cards, I guess. All four cards that I put into the deck are heal cards. So even if I get sabotaged super hard, maybe we could just stay alive long enough and then star shaping for a win. I, you know, I, I know Targon and uh, Targon is pretty good at that kind of thing. So we'll take it. I don't want to waste too much mana, so we'll actually just uh, behold the infinite. It's like a living legends. I'm not really interested in paying, uh, technically paying three mana for the serpent because you know one for the telstones, two for the actual behold the infinite, and then zero mana for the snake. That's still three mana. Oh, uh, we'll, we'll pass on that. If I had to guess, fresh is worth at least twice as much. If I had to guess, I would say there's probably three Akshans in here. Because Chip, Chip is like, you know, Chip is a bit weird of a card because Chip is in Targon, but he's only good with Shurima. I mentioned this in another video. Chip is basically a Shurima card. Because Rock Hopper is very good. Ancient Preparation is very good with Chip. Akshan is very good with Chip because you get a unit and a landmark, right? And Targon doesn't really do that. Targon doesn't have those type of landmarks. Anyway, yeah, so far, uh, so far, uh, Jimsley, not great, not great. I'm, I'm trying here, okay? But it looks like we're drawing some expensive cards and I don't know what else is in here. <laughs> At some point, we'll do... See, th that's, that's a lot better. That's a fantastic card, actually. That's, I like that. I like playing this card in this type of deck. That's great. Now, there's a couple of things we can do here. Actually, there's only one thing we can do, right? Yeah, there's one thing we could do here, and that's uh, that's this. And you know what? I'm down for it. Buff him up. Protect the Shepherd. Both Chip and the Shepherd are precious. 
They must be protected. We don't have any other units to play, but... Sure. This is, uh, this is still not open to like a Valve Feast plus Undergrowth. Double Undergrowth, but next turn we have a Star Shaping. And against Deep, it's usually not like a really big deal to use Star Shaping on one of your units to keep them alive. It is, it is about board in these type of matchups. Now, a quick way to win against Deep would easily just be get the Celestial... Uh, the seven mana spell that gives everything plus two, plus two. I should really know the name of that, but I, I don't. Real Targon fanboy. Cosmic Inspiration. Is that it? It's Cosmic Inspiration, right? I think it's Cosmic Inspiration. That's the one. I See, I am smart. No, I knew that. I knew that. Of course I knew that. One that isn't deep, so I'm I'm just gonna take this pass. We're gonna get a five-five here, do make chores easier. and we're just gonna try to get to the O. Oh. Is that the one-off Malphite? He is a little unleveled. He is a little far from being leveled. This reminds me of that Alter to Unity Malphite deck. That also wasn't. Oh no. Oh, that's really bad. That kind of just wins them the game. Really? They played this last turn? The turn before? Oh no. <laughs> no. Jimsley, not like this. Not like this. <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah. I think we're forced to do this then. Huh. All right. Okay, so we do that, and then we play Ghoul and the Sister and Serpent. Maybe, maybe we should kill this. But then we're dead. We can do this. We're at two HP. Okay, so we have three board spaces. So I think this is fine. Or Chip, Chip deserves better. Oh man, this deck is actually really sweet. It has Dragon Roost. Man. So does this frog? Actually, I think it's. Yeah, it's still one board space too much. The light of my star warms the heavens. I think we just uh, lose the serpent then. I think that's fine. These units are a little more valuable. They could also like just shoot this right. Yeah, I prefer having a fearsome blocker over a uh, over a serpent. You cannot run from absolution. Yeah. It's uh It's gonna be rough, but it's it's definitely we haven't lost yet. Yoink Yoink Descend upon them You know, fine. We'll pass. I'm, I'm scared of the devourers. Cost two, so devourer costs one. So we know that they won't have mana for anything else. Do this. It's the one. Supernova is also pretty good now, though. Because this might be the only way we ever get rid of a Nautilus. The way to win might still be leveling a Relian Soul, though. Okay, we'll, we'll take this, because I, I, I'm pretty sure we won't get time to actually play the Cosmic Inspiration, and this could, like, keep us alive long enough. Yeah, so that's exactly what I was expecting. So we'll do this. To not be dead. Oh, two Devourers gone after a leveled Nautilus. That's huge, actually. That's very good for us. Oh my god, wait. That, that'll that do it, right? Okay, no, wait, we have... We have Melfight. 
So, Melfight stuns you, blocks one, then we're still dead. What if we obliterate two, then we're also still dead? Okay, these, uh, these treasures were pretty good for opponent there. I don't know if we can deal with that. I tried, alright? I tried. If we had the cosmic inspiration a little bit earlier, it would have actually been fantastic. I have... there, there, was, there was no way we were ever beating the hand. I really think that uh, this treasure, like two turns later, kind of just sealed the deal entirely. Alright, GG. GG deep. Well, Jim Lee, it was a sweet deck, I'll say that. I had a lot of fun with that one. That's, uh, that was a cool deck. GG. Okay, for the next one, um, now, there are a lot of replies here. Let's see, of course, I have to also take Legends because it has the most upvotes, right? Legend has the most liked post, so we're, we're gonna see what Legend cooked here. And all I'm gonna do is, I'm, oh, there's another Aurelian Soul. I'm just gonna pray, it's, it's Targon Shurima again. Okay, um... Let's just pray that it's it's not a Seraphi deck, is what I was going to say, but it's Shirima, so that's not something we have to worry about anymore. All right, let's do this. What you got for me, Legend? I just realized before we get into game, I should check what this deck actually had. I need to remember doing that. I feel like I got a pretty good idea near the end. Okay, so it's a chip Akshan curve, which is nuts. Three Dragon Roost, three Rock Bear Shepherds. The Vagabond, one Melfight, two Aurelian Souls. I would say this is a surprisingly solid deck. It's got like the, the Invoke Wing Cons. How would I change this? I would probably cut cards like one Celestial, one Telstones, and maybe one Time in a Bottle. Like cut three cards and then play like a another Invoke kind of card, like maybe the Solari Priestess, maybe even the Moondreep, probably not. This is now pretty much only playable if you're running Nightfall, the one drop, the two one. Maybe even a tri uh, Celestial Trifecta. That would make this deck pretty sick. Just a little bit more invoke, so you have like another way to win the game late. Sweet deck though. All right, now let's get the Legend for real. Teemo Cape. Whoa. Uh, what the hell? Is this a Priestess of Desert Light deck? No, Legend. No, 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 no. Oh, God. How are we ever going to deal with a Teemo or a Caitlyn? I'm going to get rid of the Yumi because I just don't think it does. Well, does it? What can we put it on? Is there an Akshan? There's no Akshan here. I'll keep the Yumi anyway. It's probably bad, but I also don't... Oh. Oh? Okay, there are some answers to actually deal with stuff in this deck that... I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised it's in here. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. Surely we don't die to shrooms. Surely we're not dead in, like, turn five. <laughs> Surely this is fine. What's really funny is if we just put the Yumi on the desert light, the priestess. Probably won't do much, but it's funny. Sometimes you just gotta play for the funny. Okay, not Caitlyn, please. Never know what hit him. I don't know if I should block that. I probably should have. To be honest. Okay. Still in it. Not a problem. Uh, yeah, we'll play this. Okay. Interesting. So we're gonna put Yumi here, right? Where do we predict? Nah, we'll put the Yumi here first. We're off on a new adventure. If they're shooting it like that, they're probably afraid of something that I'm not aware of. And we have a guiding touch. That's why you always carry another pair of goggles. Yeah, we'll attack here. Sure. I'm not finished. Yeah. 
Next turn, the Priestess. Okay, that is a fantastic draw. Could you imagine if we healed this? I'm cooking here. Well, Legend is cooking here, but I, I put this one in. So we're both cooking? <laughs> Let's take some healing. Let's take some healing before another chemo comes down and absolutely shreks us. Okay, just not this one. Don't do it. Don't you dare. Uh, oh, it's plus one. No. Why are you like this battle city? Why? Uh. All right, man. Don't touch it. Fine. We're healing this. It could still easily be a lot worse. Right? This is like this card. This is probably like the best value you, you'll get from this. Right? Don't do it. Don't you. Oh, there's also flash bombs. Please. No, they're doing it. Dude. So lame. Why? All right. Pass. Because I might want a sunburst. Don't those fools know? I own this. Plant five. So right now, this dies immediately. I, I don't know what to take here because I want to protect her. And Bastion is the way to do that, but that's not good enough. I'll skip here. We're just gonna heal. I'm gonna be honest, man. Like, healing an ally 3 and your Nexus? And this being a 5-6? Like, that's... I know it's like, you know, there, there's no real good value there, but that's... That's still pretty solid. Like, a 5 and a 5-6? Star Guardian? I forgot to equip the skins. <gasps> this will be my magnum opus. Alright, you know what? Whatever, man. 3! And no flash bombs? Ah, cool. Alright, well, uh... Seven mana. But maybe it's an ASO. Okay, come on. One time ASO. Come on. I can feel it. I can feel it. Space Dragon. Huh? Oh, that's from the Secret Keeper. <laughs> Where did that come from? Uh, you know what? Not the worst. Honestly, not not the worst. That kind of works. We get we get we get husks for. How is it at zero, dude? Actually, at zero. <laughs> it could be worse. It could be worse. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Oh, whoops, am I right? Yeah, let's just get rid of that. I've always been a fun guy. Oh, that's a They're entirely out of cards. Thirty-six buff caps, but we have healing. We are a healing deck. Scream for me. Spell shield. Let's keep going. Okay, let's think about this. I we're probably star shaping here. And I think I'm doing it on the face. <laughs> we'll take Living Legends. And then we'll play Kai'Sa. Mm, Kai'Sa. Does that suit come off? No. It's ridiculous that we get Do Evelyn Kai'Sa nice. voice lines in See a deck that nice. didn't even have Evelyn. <laughs> what are the chances of that happening? In on the mark. No backup needed. What were we at? How many how many did we draw this turn? One? I think we drew one. One, yes. I could have just clicked on the Caitlyn instead. All according to plan. Interesting attack. Seems a bit desperate to me. I'm gonna be completely honest. This uh this is a game loser for opponent here. Pop 
possibly have her that makes this good? I don't see it. That was hot. Fury. I want more. I ought to finish you off. Now let's just get this out of the hand first. What's the worst case scenario here? They could have another Karina? Third Karina? It's also like up there for not the best. Okay, we'll do this. Oh, these are these are very good. The light of my star warms the heavens. Uh Kaisa actually levels now. Oh my god, you're kidding me, opponent. You are kidding me with this. That's that's perfect for opponent because they literally had zero cards in hand, and this is just like draw three. Surely we're not dead here. I don't believe it. Two? Nah, we're not dead. Yeah, we're not dead. Legend has been cooking day. with this deck. I'm still a little bit sad we we didn't get the Aesol from the from the priestess, but yeah, I'll take it. I will I will definitely take it. Another day in the field. I'll pick him, you plan him, kid. We'll kill these two. I can't get enough. It's not lethal. It's close though. I'm coming for you. Excuse you. I love the smell of mushrooms in the morning. What could lose us the game here? We're at 14 HP. We're at 18 HP after this attack. Let's, uh, let's get some healing. Let's top us off. We have elusive blockers. I'm pretty sure worst case scenario is like we draw 10 shrooms now and then they play Caitlyn. I shouldn't talk. I should not say anything. Whack. Yeah. you go. I also just realized... As soon as Evelyn de-leveled, there was no way to ever get her back, because we have no other way to get husks. As soon as we missed one level up, because that flash bomb hit the zero one, there was just no way to come back from it. <laughs> Alright, that should, uh, that should be it. Alright, one more try for the Aurelian soul, come on. A soul right here. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Close enough. Two games in a row with Malphite, I guess. GG! <laughs> you mean level up? <laughs> Alright, that was that was a wild game. Uh, Legend delivered. Le Legend definitely delivered with this one. I wasn't expecting to win with this one at all. We probably had a better shot with the last deck, but sometimes troops low roll, sometimes we high roll, and that's that's how you end up here. Pretty good. GG. It's always over so soon. Okay, so let's quickly look at what Legend had in here. Three Sunbless Vigors, probably for the Priestess. Two Sunbursts. Felt really good to have this as actual removal. The Falling Star too. This is just like so, so good for Targon as a shell. Falling Star, even Guiding Touch, but Falling Star, Cosmic Youngling, Pill Cascade. I don't even know if Legend is running Pill Cascade. Like, not in this one. Sunburst, just super, super, super solid for a control shell for Targon. I love it. Pretty, pretty good spot for Targon to be in. Definitely not bad. All right, let's go to the next one. Uh, we're just going to go to uh, Cephalopod, who is a fantastic player. Also a bit of a deck brewer. This says Bog Standard Stellacorn Invoke Deck. I'm going to get I'm going to guess this means big. So big standard Stellacorn Invoke Deck. Uh, you had me at big and invoke uh, big invoke. You had me at big invoke. All right, so I want to say really fast, by the way, I'm uh, I'm leaving the 
the tags for their Twitter right here. So you should definitely check them out. Legend, Cephalopod, fantastic content creators as well. They stream from time to time. I think they both have a YouTube channel. If they do, I'll pin like a comment or something to check out their stuff. Definitely give them a watch. And for now, this is a LeBlanc deck. All right, I'm going to be honest. Uh, you're already kind of losing me here with the uh, supposedly big invoke deck, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just expecting all the invoke. If you if you say big standard invoke, there's got to be a ton of invokers. There's got to be a ton of celestial cards in here. All right. LeBlanc Samira. Cephalopod, what the hell is this? What? Where's the invoke? Where are the cool cards? All right, I can't. I can't wait to check out this deck list afterwards because I must be missing something here. My cat is sleeping right next to me, by the way. So if I like uh, look to my left, that's that's why. Hmm. All right. Pretty sus. We'll see. We'll see. There's at least three star shapings in there. I don't need rules to know good from bad. Let's just play it out. And we'll play LeBlanc. And we're going to start smashing. Oh, that is also very good. I think we'll just do LeBlanc first anyway. Having to put my face on. This deck has no pinks, so we're just going to use the pigeon on here. And then there's no good trade for Akshan. So this is like a D curve, right? Like Akshan on two, swing the on three. That's sometimes enough to just win you games. Villains beware. Yeah, I'll take four, sure. We, uh, I, w I was expecting, you know, the invoke stuff, but it looks like we're just aggro. I don't know why I played the horse. I, I should have played Samira. Calendar. Cool, I bet. You like it? I mean, shut up and fight. Okay. Don't ask for permission or forgiveness. Samira's not really gonna be able to kill anything here. So how are we doing this? I think we're attacking with the pigeon on the two three and then LeBlanc, and that's it. I think that's fine. That doesn't really change anything for us. Really wish that this, you know, for these type of meme decks, I wish this nerf didn't happen. Because I would have loved to just give the LeBlanc challenger here, right? Would have been pretty Forgive sick. Me. This is nine. This is four. Oh, that's exactly oh, that's exactly leveled from these two. Sweet! What? Oh, and the ping one? Wait, hold on. You had two of them. I should have probably known actually. I should have known that that would be the case, because they played it on Samira, which made really no sense at all. 10. Yeah, we're just going to have to let that happen. Damn, that would have been sweet if we got that. Okay. So, Akshan is Challenger. Another Pigeon. I do quite like this deck, but Akshan on 2 and Swing the Lab on 3 is so freaking powerful. Like, extremely oppressive. And then they play like two of these cards. And that was enough to, to draw the uh, the Varus, right? Crazy. Crazy good. Let's see what we can get. We might have to play for the Great Beyond. Because it could have like denies. Uh, actually, we'll take a look at that part. It's a little more flexible. Okay. There are 15, which is really bad. Because right now, all we have is aggro. Down. 
cap. Invisible to the ignorant. There's the horse. For truth. I'm gonna guess quicksand. And then we cry. <laughs> yeah, quicksand would be real bad, huh? And I'm not really in a position to play around it though. Alright. My horse. There are ten. And with Living Legends, there's always like a way to win, I suppose. It's a double guiding. I'll take that hit. We'll heal. Hey, we're never gonna deal with this Varus anyway, so we might as well do it like this, right? Because yeah, even if we get an answer from this, I don't think I'm using it to kill the Varus. I just don't think that's how we win. We'll do that. Alright. Wow. The arrow of retribution will find its mark. I don't think they drew any bad cards. They had very good answers. There's the LeBlanc. Okay, we can play LeBlanc and then we still have Justice mana for Living Legends next turn. Oh, that's also not great, huh? We can give up this board and try to win with like maybe Moon Silver. Into Great Beyond? Serpent into Great Beyond? That's nine elusive damage. Go for the draw too. Oh, this could get ugly. This might just be it. I'm playing the LeBlanc here. History because if Akshan decides to pull the LeBlanc, that's good for us. Yeah, that's. We now we get to keep our elusive, right? Could have a zero mana momentus, but there's no way they ever get to 20. I mean, it's heal one or this, and we have to win next turn anyway. Yeah, might as well. It doesn't change anything really. It's either we heal one or we take four less damage. I think taking four less is a little bit better than. Dude, I'm just playing to our outs, okay? The, the, the worst thing here was definitely like the double violent discord. They removed both our champions and they still had like all the tempo with their their Akshan and two of those cards just draw you Varus. Alright, here we go. That's nine. What celestial did we even play this game? Oh, wait! Living Legends counts? Oh, cool. Alright, so that's nine. <laughs> oh, they were so fast to pull that trigger. They have an answer for sure. Alright, here we go anyway. It's got it's gotta be it's gotta be a quicksand, I'm telling you. There's just no way. Pop deck. Uh, oh it's that. That's that was the only thing that would do it, right? That's insane! It's exactly enough at seven. So I tried to scam our opponent with the, the with the Targon Invoke, but I feel like that was an even bigger scam that they just pulled at us. That is ridiculous, man. The third copy of Violent Discord? They, they drew 60 card and the second Furious Wielder? Nah, I I don't know. I don't know. I I tried to do Cephalopods like justice here, man. That should have been a win. That should have been a Targon scam win. 100%. That is not right. It is not right, man. Alright, GG. I call nonsense on that one. I do. That one was 100% ours. Alright, GG. <laughs> 
Uh, before we go, let's look at what Cephalopod was playing here. One Savage Recorder? Clovenway? Yeah, there's there's no invoking here. This is not a this is not a big invoke deck. It's it's not. <laughs> Sweet concept though. Uh, it's just target aggro, which I actually enjoy. Let's look for another deck. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go completely random. I'm actually gonna like look away. I don't. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm just gonna do this, okay? So you know I can't see my screen. I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna scroll randomly, and then whichever is in the middle of the screen, I'll pick. All right, here we go. I scrolled down really far, so I guess that piece is this one. <laughs> you are not ready for this ultimate fun deck. That's usually not a good sign, because I make ultimate fun decks, and most of them are terrible. Um... Aurelian Soul Melphite. Is this a peak deck? I'm just going to full mold to find out. Okay, yeah, that... That full mulligan really just didn't tell us anything at all. <laughs> uh, nothing. I got nothing from that. Can't be unhappy about the youngling, though. So, this is a standard deck. The sea tells me all I need. Which is interesting. It's standard Mona Targon. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what this could be. I have no clue. Well, fine. This hand also just doesn't tell me anything because we put in like almost half of our hand. Me miss? Not by a long shot. Actually, we're probably just doing this. Lock the Caitlyn. At least I don't have Teemo. I'm pretty happy about that buff to that card. Blessing of Targon is very good now. Alright, cool. Killed ourselves a Caitlyn. Yeah, we're just getting to turn 10, aren't we? We're just gonna try to win on turn 10. Oh. Should have done that during combat. Unless there's a slow spell here. There is a slow spell. Okay. So we'll do this. Easy peasy. Blue Sentinel. Okay, don't have another one. Please. Sweet, we get to heal it. Oh, that's value, man. There's even more healing. All right. <laughs> sure. At this point, uh, I'm, I'm just going with the flow, man. At this point, I don't know anymore. I'm, I'm just here for the ride. It's always, like, blocking like this against Targon, leaving something with 1 HP is always pretty good. Because Targon doesn't ping. Like, the Falling Star is, like, their cheapest direct damage removal. Uh, I mean, something like Sentinel doesn't... Or uh, Serpent doesn't count, right? Because you don't really have access to that. <laughs> We're getting a lot of value from these... Uh, from the Stellacorns, though. Because now we can heal the Stellacorn oh, with the Stellacorn. Do we want to, though? I actually think we want to play this. A mushroom. That's bad. Three. That's bad for us. That's not good. Oh man. Yeah, that's not good. There we have go. no way of dealing with that. Where was I? I hmm. I don't like giving this up because we don't ramp into anything. I think we have to, right? No, we can do this. And then I try to ping it, then we'll pill Cascade. And then we just pray really hard that it doesn't get hit with a Flash Bomb. Getting really close. I was asking for that! I was asking for that to happen! <laughs> Okay, come on, one more. Not here. Oh wait, it doesn't matter. Is it gonna heal? All right, sweet. 
So next turn we want this to die. I played the wrong one too. I want this to die next turn. It's important. This dies, we can ace hole one turn early. Pretty big. Has to be the wink on. We're, we're, we're on a clock here. We're, we're on a we're on a clock for sure. Cool. That totally works for me. Totally works. We have a stun for Teemo. Don't you do it, Flash Bomb. Don't you do it. Okay. Great. An answer. Awesome. Success is planting your mushrooms. Two, three, four. Looks like we're not getting this a turn early. Oh, yuck. It's not good. Oh, no. It's all gonna come down to the ace hole. Is this 20 power? I think it is. When crime calls, a reply is over. Jesus. Oh no. I make shepherding look easy. Okay, I mean we're getting to turn ten, but they uh, like a Karina will just do it. If they have Karina, it's just game over. Used to be your most respected there, elders. I already we need two turns. We need to play Aesol and then we need Aesol to level. They grow up so fast. Yeah, I mean sure. We have yield so much already this game. Stand back. What the hell? You get all that? Did I see that right? Ten? Don't be Karina. It's like, it's really winnable if it's not Karina. Because this is leveling. Oh no, they're going face. No! I, it's not happening. There's no way we're dead. There's no way we draw seven shrooms. It, I don't believe it. I don't believe you. I don't. Come on. Come on. Please! The constellations bow to me! Four shrooms. Kills us. I'll protect you. Stand oh. back. Oh, I love that healing. I love that healing. Oh, we're, oh we're, that would have killed us. But this and this kept us alive. Oh my god. It's totally winnable. We have a leveled Aesol, not Karina. I sw We should win this. I think we win. I think it's over. We won. We actually just won. It's over. It's over. It's it's straight over. <laughs> nah, there's no way. I do like I, this is not BM by the way. I generally have to set this up this way. Okay, I'm gonna empty the hand so we can get more slices. This looks like oh, actually this was a bit BMing because I didn't have to take two actions. I could just play both at the same time. It's like a that's a habit. All right. This is already lethal, right? Come, the heavens away. Oh. 
Really? We got like no units there? Let nothing stand in your path. Let nothing stand in your path. Alright, bye bye. Alright, uh, near the end, a little bit of BM. But I, I am very happy that we won this because that was close. We had seven HP. And we healed for one here. And three from the brought back protector. You can't make that up. That is ridiculous. GG! Cooked right! Cooked a healthy meal right there. So healing. Our only this whole top end. Beautiful. So good. Alright, let's see what was in that deck. <laughs> Looks at the wall. Yeah, all the healing. Some Solari cards. Dragon Roost. At the Malphite. Eclipse Raga. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a Targon soup. Delicious. Gordon Ramsay approved right there. Very nice. All right, let's do one more. And I'm, um, you know what? Let's, okay, uh, let's pick you. Hero of Time. Got the nice Toon Link avatar right there. There we go. Oh, I can't look at what's in there. We're just, is that, did we just get five decks all with Aurelian Soul? All right, well, I'm not complaining. It's, it's Aurelian Soul, so <laughs> I'll take that. All right, let's see what we got. Vaults. Nasses. <laughs> All right. There's Udir. Udir Aesol. All right. Cooking. Cooking hard. Okay, Sunburst is pretty good for the Nasses, but uh, I don't think we're going to have an answer for the Vault of Helia deck. I'm surprised that our win rate is so positive. Is it positive? It's 2-2. Two -two. It's not positive. We're even. <laughs> but I'm surprised we won two games. I'm surprised we even win the games at all. All right, that card does nothing here. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> it's actually like the fact we're just completely blind with the deck is actually like a, what makes this pretty difficult. I'll be completely honest. It makes it very hard to just expect what cards I'm getting. And it makes it really hard to even know what to properly play around or play with because I don't know what I have answers to. I don't know what my win cons could possibly be. All right, yeah, we're playing that. Uh, let, let's just ramp, I guess. Vaults or bust? Yeah, if they had vaults, they would have played. If this was, a, I mean, it is a vault set, but if they had it, you jam that. You jam that vault on turn four. Cool. More hands make work. Never mind, that's not cool. It's a very strong word. I wonder, hmm, it's interesting actually. It's possible that this is a stronger play than just playing the vault. I'll be completely honest. We follow the old ways. So we're passing here, right? We don't want to use the stands and then when they have six mana, give them a free vengeance. Uh, it's something we don't want to have happen. So we'll pass. I think, the, I think that means they have a vengeance. That's what that smells like to me. Yeah, we can just pass. We stand in the footprints of paths long trodden. Okay, so we're gonna do this first. No, we're not. Because we lose the silence effect, and I don't know, maybe like some weird combination of cards. Would uh, still kill our Udir. I'm not sure. So we'll do regen here. And I actually don't think we're attacking. Because we, if we attack into that. And then they use a hate spike. It's bad for us. I think we're okay just passing. I know we have healing. Like that's one thing I'm sure about. Oh. Hero of time. With the War Mother's Call. It makes sense. Yeah, so we knew they had that. If we get this off, the game's over. We just win. Uh, it's GG. But right? Right is pretty rough. I think this is where the hate spike comes in. Possibly. Or even Quietus. And I'm, I'm okay with that. Oh, 
All right. If they use something that's eight mana, we win the game. If they play Death and Ada, game's Just over. Let them sleep. Be back tomorrow. Here we go. Patience is always the key. Be patient. Be patient. Call your mother. Win the game. <laughs> All right, cool. Sure. Nasus gets like Nasus goes to eight from uh, from this, and then this gets it to nine. I I want them to use an answer here. I don't think they will. I know we're okay at thirteen. They have four card. We're just gonna play the Aesol. We're just gonna keep playing big chonkers, big big dudes. Like right now, it's possible that Aesol just levels, right? Um, Supernova is good. I think Scorch is better though. This is exactly enough to level Aesol. Okay, right, and there's the vaults. Love this because without if this gets vengeance, we're still at 19. The question is, how much does it matter if Nasus levels? It, it's gonna fully depend on like what their next attack is. Like, I'm, I'm pretty down to pass here. We keep getting units from our deck, too. Yeah, I think we're just taking a level here. I think we have to. At my uh, it just doesn't feel like Nasus currently wins the game, even with the vaults of Helia now online. Leader's nice. Huh. Ooh. Big stats. Nasus levels. It's fine. I'm assuming there are two more Relian Souls in this deck, so with the War Mother, we could just be pulling them out too. This, this is the game. This is the final game. This is going to decide if we go positive or not. Uh, the, the stakes are high. The stakes are definitely high. Okay, so... Let's think about this. Eh. Sure. Let's just start there. Opponent's got to find a way to kill the Aesol. Yeah, okay. So that's fine. We're getting to a point where if we draw another War Mother, it's less likely that they'll deny it. We might also be running out of units for all I know. I'm just, I'm mostly doing this to pop their spell shield. Next turn. Actually, why? No, this dies. Wait, I'm stupid. This will die. So popping that spell shield does nothing because they probably get another rekindler. Oh, that was dumb. That just made no sense. Right. Bro. No, oh dear. Why? All right. Okay, so Avalanche into stun. Sweet. That's a good one. Oh, 
She's almost as old as me. Almost. Almost. It's gotta be an answer somewhere for them. But right now they play a blocker, we pull it with a 9-1. Kind of weird that they were holding that. Is that lethal? They still have mana for vengeance, so I think we should play this. Then we lose mana. Wait, actually, I think it's this. And then we'll do this. This is lethal. Because I, I could just, like, play this first. But then if they vengeance this, you know, we're kind of still... Left with nothing. And the most annoying part is that Nasus will keep getting the, s the spell shield back, which makes it hard to freeze him, which also means at some point we'll probably have to give up our Aesol for the Nasus. galaxies faster than this. So I think this is a little less committal and also gives us an option to play the Stellacorn if we need a Nasus blocker. But it did have it. Does this mean we're entombing? I think we entomb the Nasus to completely break their chain. There, no more Rekindler. There's one more Rekindler. They played two. Okay. So block the Nasus. This too shall end. That's their final one. Kill that. It was a very close game. That Vengeance was everything. Like Vengeance plus Rekindler was the only way for them to stay in the game. It's a fantastic draw. Very good. Hey, cool. I do love an audience. Oh, it is free, so. Spirits of the land, hear my call. All right, star shaping. I don't know why I healed face. I oh, should have healed this. This might be it. If it's a right, this is not it. Actually, it's still legal if it's a right, depending on if they have another unit or not. Because if they right, we have two units, like, that deal 10 damage at least. Now let's see if it's a right. Right is the only way for them to stay alive right now. Is that it? GG. Wow, what a grind. I made a couple of really small misplays, like healing my health when, or healing my Nexus when my health was full. Not great, but ultimately pretty clean. I think we navigated that pretty, pretty well. So the overall score is three and two, which is honestly, Twitter, you did great. That's pretty good. Two War Mothers, two She Who Wonder Yatch. <laughs> I don't think there's a lot of payoff for the War Mothers here, but just getting a free unit every turn was pretty good. Hero of Time has been cooking as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this concept. Let me know in the comment if you want to see more of this. Make sure to follow me on Twitter because if you want more of this, I will be posting 12 more cards on Twitter at some point. I'll ask people to brew a deck with it and we're just going to have a good time. I had a lot of fun. So hopefully uh, I'll see you guys next time in another video like this. Take care. See you next time. Thinking outside the box, Zillion Victor, Time Bomb Printer, One Two Pop, Meta Shifter, Not a Quitter, Fighting for LPP Snoop.